Hello, I'm Glenda Lewis, and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Detroit will breed protesters are huddling tonight to determine their next move. The meeting follows a weekend clash with police when police say protesters use their own barricades to stop traffic on Woodward. Dozens were arrested during a protest over Operation Legend and more feds in Detroit. The group says tonight won't be a march through the streets, but rather a chance to focus on what happens next in their fight for social justice. A 20-year-old Southfield woman was mistakenly declared dead, and now her family wants answers. Tamisha Beauchamp was found unresponsive in her family's home Sunday morning. We're told paramedics worked for several minutes to revive her, and based on what they told an ER doctor by phone, she was declared dead. But family attorney Jeffrey Figer says when the funeral home unzipped the body bag, her eyes were still open and she was alive. She's now hospitalized on a ventilator. Relatives are worried about the impact of the delay in treatment. The city of Southfield says its first responders followed protocol and it's investigating to find out why this happened. And you can now drive along the Aretha L. Franklin Memorial Highway. A ceremony today unveiling the sign along the Lodge Freeway near Pallister. The governor, mayor, and Aretha's family on hand for the honors. The memorial sign is on both the north and south sides of the lodge. And the Archdiocese of Detroit is reaching out to anyone who may have had a baptism that's been deemed invalid. It comes after a local priest learned his own baptism as a baby 30 years ago was invalid. This all has to do with the language used. According to the Archdiocese, if the priest said, we baptize you during the ceremony, it is incorrect. Instead, the priest must say, I baptize you. The Archdiocese is now trying to rectify any invalid baptisms by reaching out to those impacted and making any necessary accommodations. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your 7 First Alert forecast. Our storm threat for this evening and tonight is done. Tomorrow we'll go 87. It's going to be muggy and hot, and that means thunderstorm chances from about mid-morning to early afternoon is the best opportunity, maybe something late in the day as well. Wednesday, another round. Thursday, stinking hot. 92 feels like 96. Storm chances still here Friday. That could be leftovers from Laura in the south, and then it's calming down over the weekend.